What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel as always. So, if you have not seen the title yet, I do have an early review with me today. And of course, there is a story, like a whole story behind this shoe. And of the next couple reviews that I'm about to drop, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But, you know, I do cover early reviews on this channel. Y'all have, if y'all have been subscribed to the channel, y'all know I cover early reviews. So, that is what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, it, it, the shoe is nice. I, I must say so myself after looking at it. But before we jump into this early review, of course, I do want to start off with the daily lace up. Just give you all a quick update over everything going on sneaker related in the world. So today is Saturday the 10th. We actually had the release of the Jordan 3 Fire Red this morning. I actually did pick up a couple pairs from my local stores, so that was good to go. Of course, y'all saw my video yesterday about the Flex app and yeah, that app tripping. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Just the issues with the Flex app. But uh, sneakers actually did sell out of the Jordan 3 Fire Red. And I checked about an hour after the release and they were already sold out, which I was a little surprised. Like I figured they would sit a little longer through the day, but I figured they would still sell out today. But they sold out pretty quickly on sneakers. So people were most definitely interested in this Jordan 3. Now on sneakers, they had 186,594 pairs of these Jordan 3 Fire Reds. Those were all the men's sizes, so men's 3.5 to men's 18. So a bunch of sizes on sneakers. And then of course you had all the stores that ended up releasing pairs as well. So if you wanted a pair of these, hopefully you were able to get them. I know in my early videos I talked about if you just put in a little bit of footwork for these, you should have been able to get a personal pair if you were interested in them. So I went ahead and got myself a double up. Will I keep both pair or will I keep the double extra pair? I'm not sure yet, but I was like, let me just go ahead and grab it now since I can get it and then I will figure it out later down the line. So yeah, so that was my day for the Jordan 3 Fire Reds. Let me know if y'all were able to cop any pairs of the Jordan 3 Fire Reds. Did you get a personal pair? Was it easy for y'all? I know some of y'all were already commenting on my um, resale prediction video that I did over the Fire Red 3s and saying that it was a pretty easy cop. So I was happy to hear that some of y'all were, were able to get pairs fairly easy. Now, continuing on before we jump into this review, I do want to, I did cop a shirt from Supreme. So this was the Andre 3000 shirt and I did get a white one. Uh, this is actually my first time copying a pair of, or copying something off of the Supreme website. Usually I don't go for Supreme stuff, but I thought the shirt was pretty cool, so I was like, let me go ahead and just cop it and see what it's about. So it's a pretty dope sh shirt to have, um, so happy I was able to get it. But all right, that is everything I have for the daily lace up. Now, we can go ahead and jump into this early review over the Jordan 11 Cherry, which is the Christmas 11 for this year. Now, of course, I, how I mentioned we had a story, if y'all have not been up to date with all the stuff that happened in Memphis. Yeah, that was a whole just crazy stuff. I already did a video on that one as well. If you have not checked it, go check out that video if you're interested or curious to see what all went down in Memphis. Now, of course, I do want to give a quick shout out to my two plugs at Perfect Fit Kicks and Kamikaze's Kicks who are located in Chicago, not Memphis, they're in Chicago, uh, but they were able to give me these pairs that I have coming up. So shout out to them. If y'all need early pairs or anything that recently released, go hit them up. I know they got a, a Jordan 5 player exclusive, the Florida 5s that they're selling as well. So just go hit them up if you're interested in anything getting ready to come out. Now, jumping to this Air Jordan 11 cherry. Now, I'm not going to lie, this shoe is nice. So this is the box. So you do have that regular Jordan 11 box, all black lid with the Jordan written out in white and then the Jordan logo in red. And then like I said, black lid. And then you have the gray bottom on here as well. So that wraps all the way around. Now moving to the label, the label reads Air Jordan 11 Retro. The color is white, varsity red, and black. This is a size 11 and men's retail price on these is $225 and release date as of right now is set for December 10th of this year. Now, when it comes to these 11s, the date is usually pretty, it's a pretty accurate date. They don't really move those around just because this is the Christmas Jordan that everybody goes crazy for every year. Y'all know they make almost like a million pairs of these and they sell out every year. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty Hopefully the date is, is almost 100% accurate, that December 10th date. Now jumping to the inside of the box, you do have the trash bag paper with these. So we've gotten these with the 11s before. And then you have an all white inside of the box, you do have that green sticker on here as well. So that is the green sticker there. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump to these shoes. 
close the box up. All right, so this is the Air Jordan 11 Cherry. Give it a like, quick 360 on these. Of course, like I said, these are dope. I believe we had a low top version of these, I want to say. But yeah, these are very nice. All right, so starting off with the outsole, you do see the uh, white Jordan Jumpman logo. You do have the carbon fiber uh, plate here as well. And then you have the IC translucent outsole. So that is all on the bottom. You do see the hints of red on there, that varsity red. And then moving up to the midsole, you have an all white midsole. You do see parts of that translucent outsole coming up on the midsole as well. And that wraps all the way around. And then moving up to the upper of the shoe, so you have two different materials. You have a mesh and then you have a leather. So you do have that patent leather there and it is that varsity red that wraps all the way around. So towards the back here and then coming back around. Nice quality leather, of course, like it's like that pat it's it is that patent leather. Um, I like the color on here, and honestly, I had watched a video, an early review of these, and the shoe looked kind of pinkish. And I was like, okay, I don't know if it's going to be like a full-on pink, or not full-on pink, but a full-on red, or kind of like a, a variation of red. But I will be, I, I can say, it is a true red. It is that varsity red. So it looks good. Now moving to the upper, you do have an all-mesh upper, and it is that white mesh. So that's on both sides of the shoe there. Of course, you do have the varsity red Jordan Jumpman logo here. And then on the back of the shoe, you do have the 2, 3, and white lettering on the red part of the ankle tab. Alright, now continuing on to the laces and the tongue. So you do have the white rope laces with these. No additional laces with these, but we never really get additional laces with Jordan 11s. And honestly, I'm fine with the white laces in these. I think it looks good in the shoe. Now, continuing on, you do have a mesh tongue as well, and it does have the Jordan uh, label on the tongue there as well. Now, moving on to the inside of the shoe. So, you, let me see if I can loosen up the shoe for y'all so I can get the insole out for y'all and just show y'all everything that is on the inside. So, you do have a Varsity Red sock liner with these. So, Varsity Red sock liner. And then they do have a paper shoe tree. So, paper shoe tree. And then the, the uh, insole on here is also that Varsity Red. So that is the Varsity Red. You do have the white uh, Jordan Jumpman with the side sticker there. So that is the insole for the shoe. And overall, that is everything with the Jordan 11 Cherry. I'll go ahead and show you all the other shoe as well. So you all can get a, get a look at both shoes. But both do look the same. So I'm very, I'm actually very ready for this. I'm, I'm I'm curious, like I'm interested in potentially getting a double up in these, but I'm gonna have to wait and see uh, when they do drop. That 225 retail price is it's a little high, but you know it's it's a Jordan 11. Like they've been high like that for a minute now, um, so yeah, it's, it's just kind of one of those things. But let me know how y'all feel about these Air Jordan 11 cherries. Of course, I'll put some B-roll video of the shoe. Um, in just a second if you're interested in it, but I did want to show one thing So of course if y'all saw my other video y'all know that stock eggs actually stop sales on the Jordan 11 cherry And you're like you can't buy them on there. You can't sell them on there now if you go to goat there It's a totally different story. So on goat I actually saw so like I looked at what the price was for one of these pairs and this is the size 11 and a half if you wanted to buy a pair on Go Now, the price is $1,313.83. And I was just like, oh my God. Like, I hope nobody's buying that, paying that much for this shoe. But y'all know how people get. People get desperate to have them now. But I was like, that is a crazy amount for this shoe. So that is what's on Go right now. If you, if you want to see for yourself, go check it out. But you can't buy them on StockX. And I don't know when, at whatever point, they're going to open back up sales for the Jordan 11 Cherry. But... Like I said, let me know how y'all feel about the Jordan 11 Cherry. Is it a must cop for you? Is it a pass? I think for like all my fraternity brothers, all the men of Cap Alpha side, this will be a great shoe if y'all want to rep the fraternity colors. But yeah, let me know how y'all feel about the Jordan 11 Cherry. Is must cop pass? Are you feeling it? Is that retail price of $225 too much? Let me know in the comments how y'all are feeling about these. Of course, like I mentioned, release date is set for December 10th right now. I'm sure we'll get um, exclusive access. I'm sure they'll, we'll get the shock drop on them. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of stuff with them, but it'll just be closer to the release date whenever that happens. But as always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and all the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content. Enjoy the NFL football today. It is the first day back. So hopefully y'all's team, whoever it is, y'all can get the dub today. We, we did have some great college football today. Uh, there are a lot of upsets. My team did get an upset today, so I was happy. Um, but as always, like I said, hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Get some rest, get ready for the week. Hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.